Good morning. Welcome to Windy Hill Kennel. I am located in Central Ohio, if you don't know anything about us. Um, this is our 36th year doing this, so we've been around the ballpark a long time. Um, so a couple things before we get started with the puppies. I know that it's really scary to buy off the internet. There is a great Facebook page, which I actually didn't start it. Some clients of mine did. Um, it's called Windy Hill Schnoodle Pup Parents. Not puppy, just pup. Um, it's a great place to go if you don't know anything about us. Uh, they will ask you to join the site because it is closed and so other people don't post German Shepherds or Rat Terriers or whatever. It's strictly for puppies that we have sold is the reason they started it. You're welcome to go there and when you sign in just say, hey, I'm thinking about a Windy Hill puppy. I'd like to ask questions. It's a great place to pick my clients' brains. You can ask them anything you want to know about me. How, what our conditions here are at the kennel. How's our puppies? Are we honest? Are we, is it a clean facility? Is it everything that I have said it is on the internet? Um, so it's a great place to ask those questions. You will not offend me whatsoever. I hardly ever have time to even go there to look at the page. So please use that to your own discretion. Um, you're, and ask about our puppies if they're, you know, I sell a lot to allergy patients. So since this, these are a hybrid, meaning they're half schnauzer, half poodle, uh, these are schnoodles, by the way, since we're looking at these for uh, Dolly's puppies. And so they do not shed and they do not uh, have the allergy issues that a lot of people have with other dogs. So please use that site for anything you'd like to ask questions about. You're welcome to call me also. I don't mind whatsoever. My phone turns on about seven in the morning and it closes automatically on the sleep timer at nine o'clock. So anytime in between there, you're welcome to give me a call. Um, I'll be glad to answer anything I can for you. We are going to have puppies later on this summer. Uh, I know I've had some people asking me if we have anything else besides early spring puppies. So we're just getting ready in the next week or so to do our second breeding of our other females. So this will put them uh, having puppies. Well, this is the what, first part of March. So we've got um, April, May, probably the middle to May to the end of May, maybe the first of June, we will have our second round of puppies for the season. So uh, we will have puppies coming at that time. If you're interested for something later in the summer, please give me a call. I will not be posting those dogs until later on in the spring. Um, picks of the litter of this litter are given in the order you're on the list. And um, what else can I tell you? Do claws and tails were done. Uh, they have, um, they'll get their first bath at two weeks old. They're gonna be microchipped today. We will take pictures of them today. Um, so sometime later this week, um, I'll have them on the website. They're not microchipped this morning. We're just gonna basically show you the puppies, let you see what she has. Uh, she's got two chocolates and a black. And these are gonna be little, she's about what is she, eight pounds, about eight pounds. Um, and we bred her to Hondo and he is seven pounds. So you could go anywhere from seven probably to 10 on this litter, maybe uh, maybe 11, but they're gonna be little guys and girls. Um, so other than that, I know there's other stuff I can throw at you, but um, we've got a lot to do. So at least that's a good beginning. And we do post videos every week so next week, sometime between Monday and Friday, there will be a new set of videos. After the new pictures go on this week, I won't do pictures again until about three and a half to four weeks old. And then eyes will be open really good. You'll be able to see their faces and expressions uh, and we'll put new pictures on at that point, at that time. All right, let's get going. Uh, I'm so used to picking up a microchipper and I don't have a microchipper to pick up. So this one is a chocolate and this is a male. He has really nice coloring. He's used to some stretching. He's got white on his belly. He has a little bit of white on these back toes, which is a little hard for me to see at my angle, but uh, they're white on the tips of toes. He's got a brown nose. He should, he says, I need to twist around. He should have green or hazel eyes being a chocolate. Let's see what you weigh. I know it's cold on there. 7.4 ounces this morning. And this is the darker of the two chocolates. 
So this one is another male, and he is also a chocolate. He's got a little tiny bit of white on the chest, a little tiny bit of white on the back toes, and he's got really nice coloring down his back. Ears are completely sealed shut when they're born. I think he's too weakly to show you. Yeah, he's not gonna let me show you. That's all right, we'll do it later. Uh, seven ounces on the button. Okay, you're back down. This is the black. I think this is the biggest of the, of the three. And it's a boy, so they're all boys in this litter. He's got a little bit of white on the back toes, just at the very tips of his toes. I thought I saw some color under there, but I don't think so. As of right now, he is a black. Let me set you up here. Eight ounces, so yeah, he's the biggest. If he'll be quiet, let me see, let me pick this guy up. He's got lighter colored ears. I'm just gonna leave him lay, and Vanessa can zoom in here. So the ears are completely sealed shut. They will not open until the eyes open. So we can usually tell when the eyes are about to open because he'll get a lot of little flaky pieces of skin in these ears and then they'll open up. So those will open up about the same time the eyes do. So that's just a sneak peek. We'll have some pictures and microchip numbers on later this week. If you have any questions, you're more than welcome to give me a call. You can reach me anytime from 7 to 7.30 in the morning until nine o'clock at night. And uh, please don't email me because I probably will not be able to get on emails very much with this many puppies right now. So it's more important that we take care of moms and babies than it is to get on my email. So my phone is much easier. Text me or call me if you have questions. I hope you have a blessed day and stay warm. It's not gonna be near as nice as it was yesterday. It was so pretty yesterday. So have a good one. Uh, we'll talk to you later.